Hey guys, it's Jill again from Crazy Goat Lady Soap Company. Um, figured I'd do a live today. I've got a new soap that I'm going to be cutting and finishing up. And then I've got a, color, a couple other ones. This one here is um, lemongrass that I'm going to be cutting. And uh, I'm going to talk to you all while I was doing it. Um, I had to move my computer, so if you pop in and I don't see you right away, just stick around. And, uh, cause I've got it over to the side cause I can't have it on my table when I'm doing that. Cause there's too much stuff going on over here. I'll end up knocking it off. But, uh, <clears throat> figured we'd have a little chat today. And look here, this is, this goes on the new soap. See these little guys? They're little baby apples that I made the other day. Maybe I popped the little leaf on them. Wait a minute. See them? They go on our new soap. I used to um, decorate all the tops of all my soaps, which um, piping them is like you decorate a cake. And I'm taking my rings off so I can get my gloves on. And um, I used to do that for all of them. There's a lot of work involved in that. And I make a lot of soap at one time. So I decided on some of my simpler ones like the lemongrass. And the other one, um, the Silver Fox, the other one I'm going to be cutting today, I just kind of swirl the tops of them and um, don't decorate them as much. But like this new stuff is um, for Christmas, fall or not, well, yeah, fall, um, winter. And um, so it's a, it's, I made it a little fancy. But um, I took the sides off of these yesterday, that's what you'll see. This is the sides of the soap molds, so they would be a sticky, because last time I did a live, and I didn't do that first the day before, they were really sticky. And, uh, so today they're not, they're not near as sticky. Let me let my dog out here, he's wanting to go outside. I have a little miniature shower that uh is a big overgrown baby hey guys hey everybody oh, let me switch this over and let's see who's here um let's see scarlet and victor and uh dotty and uh the quill forgive me if i'm pronouncing that wrong marie um they love Nelly, Angel, Samantha, Mackenzie, Jazzy, Ellie, John, uh, Stephen, and I don't read any foreign languages, so like uh, like you know, uh, oh my everybody, thank you guys so much for coming in. I really appreciate it. Um, let me get to the bottom of the list there. There's a bunch. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Um, I really appreciate you all watching. Um, you're sending your gifts and, and all that. I really, really do appreciate it. If there's anything you all would like me to do a video on, I was going to do, well, I've got a video that I'll be posting um, the short version here on TikTok. And the longer one on YouTube with this new soap, with me popping it and stuff. So if you're interested in that, um, go on over to YouTube. It's the same name um, as the, all, all of my social medias are the same. The little at symbol, Crazy Goat Lady Soap. You can all find them all that way. But, um, my YouTube, I just started not long back. Well, I won't say I just started. I opened it a while. I opened it or started the account a while back. But I just started really posting videos on there not long ago. Um, I started it and then my mother got really sick and she had Louie body dementia. She passed away in February. And some new people here don't know. I know I've mentioned it before, but um, so I kind of got. I still made soap, but didn't do much on social media because honestly, I just didn't have time. Hey guys, uh, we got more people, Misty and 
Mary and Deborah and Sandra, a bunch of new people. Welcome, welcome. Um, so my social media has really just started in the last few months, really, really doing something with it. Um, so if you go on there and there's not very many videos, this is why I have a good excuse. Um, this right here is called a, a soap split or a slab splitter. This is a slab. It's um, 25 pounds. This is how I make my soap. I can make 66 bars this way. And this is what we call a loaf. When you get a bar, this is three inches tall, three inches wide, and the bars are an inch wide each, which is a smidge over five ounces per bar. It gives it, they cure out and dry, I call it drying, but they cure out and as they do, they shrink a little bit. The water evaporates is what it is. And um, so the weight goes down a little bit. That's why I make each bar a little over five ounces. That way when they do dry out, they're five ounces. If y'all are new or come in and out of my life sometimes, I've been making soap since 2008. I started selling it in 2009. Um, I had, uh, I've had my website for several years now but like I said mom got sick so that kind of put it um, a little bit of a you know quite a bit of a slowdown on business progression um, this little guy right here is what I make the sample soaps out of um, I'm thinking about doing something a little different with those. So, uh, see, now you know why I can't have the computer on here. <laughs> oh, hey, Lisa. If y'all have any questions, please ask. I'll try to flip back and forth in between here. Um, Angel and Amy and Jamie, thanks everybody for being here. Ruby. Dennis, Arizona, Jamie, D-Jam, another Jamie, Rachel, thanks guys, thanks for joining my live, I appreciate it. This here is what I cut the soaps up on, it's got, let me see, I'm going to clean this up off of it, the little, these are, a, I'm thinking that they're mandolin, strings if I'm not mistaken because they're stainless steel. Um, I play the guitar. My husband can play anything he can get his hands on. He's the one that taught me how to play the guitar. So we have a mandolin too and he can play that so that's why I happen to know that they're mandolin strings. Um, but individual bars you can see how it's made. These are like tuners on a guitar so you can because after time the strings stretch and you can I don't know if you can hear that, but they make a little noise, you can tell, after, if they're stretched tight enough. Let's see. Kayla, Diana, welcome guys, welcome. But this is a pretty simple soap right here. This is lemongrass, and I use the, the uh, essential oils to make it. Um, it's completely natural. There are... No chemicals in this soap at all. Even the coloring is an oxide, so it's natural as well. As you can see, it's just a wonderful, wonderful smelling soap. But this is what you get. They're three inches this way, three inches this way, and they're an inch wide. Um, I've still got a few bars of soap that's not that dimension. Um, they're a smidge bit smaller. Um, 
shorter this way. I don't like those as well, so I stopped making them that way. And I started making them this way. But these will sit on these trays. I've got a baker's rack. I've got several baker's racks, but these will go on these trays and then slide into a baker's rack into a room that I keep a dehumidifier in. So they cure out a lot faster than if you were just to put them somewhere and let them dry on their own. Um, because it all depends on the humidity in the room. Um, if the dehumidifier is pulling that humidity out of the room, then they dry faster. And we want that. Let's see. Welcome, Amanda. Guys, thank you guys so much for showing up. Um, if you've not followed me, um, follow, please. Um, I've got a 600, and I can't remember how many followers now. Um, I don't get on the, you know, follow me, follow, or I'll follow you, you follow me kind of deals. Um, because numbers, if you've got, say you've got a thousand followers and you've got all those followers on one of those type deals and you're in the business I'm in, which is selling stuff, making and selling stuff, um, I'd rather get them organically. Um, not everybody agrees with me. Yeah, that's fine. You do things your way and I'll do them mine. Um, but I want whoever's following me, you know, I want them to be interactive and comment and watch the videos and talk to me, you know, and stuff. So numbers are good. I'm trying my best to get to a thousand so I can get in the creator thing. Um, so if you don't care, um, I would appreciate it if you did. Go over and follow me if you want to. Um, send me a rose. And I think if, you, if I'm not mistaken, what I understand, I'm new to all of this. So you all have to forgive me. But I think if you send a rose, it kind of subscribes you to my account. And uh, it'll let you, if I'm not mistaken, it will let you know when I live or or anything like that I think it sends you a notification if I'm wrong somebody else knows how that works let me know I'm trying my best to learn this stuff um, and keep everything else going welcome Beth and Jennifer and Faye and uh, Nunu I like it Matt and um, Harvey thanks guys for coming in um, T and Trees Are Us, there's Yaden. Let me check the messages. If you have a question, please feel free to ask. Um, I'll answer, if I know the answer to it, I'll do my best to answer it. Answer it. Um, I, like I said, I say um and and a lot because I get a little nervous. Still yet. I think I'm doing better. My stepdaughter says I'm doing better. She said, you don't sound like a automated phone call anymore. <laughs> Which is an improvement because I'll have to agree with her. I did. But I'm fine. So let me know where y'all are from. Um, if you don't know, I'm in Kentucky. And um, it's the south central part. About... 45 minutes south of Lexington on I-75. Um, I grew up around here. I grew up the next town down. It's called Corbin, which is about 20 more minutes down I-75 south. Um, but I moved up here um, just outside of London, Kentucky. Um, it's called East Burnstead. It's not a city. It's kind of like a community. You know, no Nothing besides convenience stores and a dollar store, which are everywhere now. Around here they are anyway. Like every five seconds you drive, you'll see a dollar store. But, um, I moved here. I bought my farm in 2007. 
when I got married to my husband, we sold that farm and moved to where he lived, uh, which is not, man, it's not eight minutes from where I live. And uh, then two years ago, this October, matter of fact, this is October. So two years ago, about this time, we uh, moved here, which we will, I, I doubt we'll ever move from here. We might, hopefully, I'm hoping we get a place on the river, Rock Castle River, because we love to go river fishing. And, um, or a place to put an RV or something like that. Um, would be super cool. Don't know if it'll ever happen, but it, it's a dream. It would be nice to do, because we love to go fishing and just to get up and go fishing and get away from everything would be really nice. Let's see. Mm, welcome Shelly and Faithin and Aaron and Simone. Welcome guys. Um, if you don't know, if you're new in here, I make all kinds of things with goat's milk. Um, this happens to be goat's milk soap. Um, we do raise our own goats. I've got several dairy goats, uh, French Alpines. Sonnens. I used to have Nubians, but ugh, don't get me started on those goats. And let's see what else we have. Sonnens, Nubians, or not, Sonnens and French Alpines. We've got a few Kinder goats, which is a short goat. The other ones are full-size goats. And uh, we raise those. I milk them. But we also have a sheep, Katahdin, or hair sheep. They're uh, a meat sheep. They're not um, grown for wool. These are grown to eat. A lot of people like sheep. My husband, or lamb, my husband loves it. My dad loves it. My stepson loves it. I'm, I'm not crazy about lamb myself, but I'm a really, really picky eater. Like, super picky eater. Ever since I was born, according to my mother, I've been a super picky eater. Let's see who else is here. Hey, baby. Senya. Uh, welcome, guys. Welcome. Let me move this rock. Well, no, you can see pretty good there. Now, this piece right here, I'm going to cut into little strips. And put them on there. I've got one other loaf to cut up to do this way, and then the last loaf is um, the new one that I'll be putting. Those are little apples that I showed you, and I'll show you again when I get these done. But this one here is lemongrass. Um, it is wonderful. I love the smell of lemongrass. It's, I use essential oils in it. Um, completely natural. The color's completely natural. Oops. Um, let's lie down this way just a little bit. So where's everybody from? Um, that's what I was getting at a few minutes ago and I lost my train of thought for a second. Uh, where y'all from? Pop it in the, the, the box or the chat box. Um, like I said, I'm from Kentucky, South Central Kentucky. Lived here pretty much my whole life, except for a little while. I lived in a couple different places, um, but mostly here. I lived in Southern Alabama for a little while, uh, Southwestern Alabama, in a little town called Op for a few years. But I have lived here in East Burnset, or the general area, since 2007 when I bought my farm. So stuck here. Um, so where y'all from? Hey Evelyn and Asia. Welcome guys.
try to keep everything as clean as possible. And this is, it's not raw soap, but it can be rather irritating to my skin. Um, I wear gloves. You should wear gloves. If you make soap, you should wear gloves. Um, I've done it so long. Not that I don't get soap burns from time to time, because I do. Skin gets a little irritated. But you really should use soap, especially if you're mixing your lye. Alright, let me move this one and I'll go get another tray and we'll cut up the next soap. I forgot where I put my splitter at. Took me a minute. Uh, let me grab my drink real quick. I gotta have some water. kitchens. Yeah. Food safe and all that stuff. Can't think of a name on it though for saving my life. Uh, but this is my version um, of the uh, black Af or African black soap or black African soap. I forget how it's how it's worded. Welcome Sabine, or uh, Sabrina, and Kay, and uh, 
Brandon Smith. I like that. My main name is Smith. Ouch. There's a lot of Smiths around here. And no, I'm not related to all of them. Very few of them, actually. There's all kinds of Smiths. We have a lot of Smiths and Jackson. Um, but this is my version of, or my variation on that soap. It has uh, shea butter, just like it does. Um, it has the activated charcoal, which is what makes it black, just like this one. But I took it a, a few steps further. Of course, it has goat's milk in it, which in and of itself makes a wonderful moisturizing bar. But I also put mango butter in this one, cocoa butter in this one, and sow butter in this one. Which makes it super duper moisturizing. This one is intended to be a facial bar, but you can use it anywhere on your body. I call it Silver Fox because I came up with it for my mom. She's getting, she was getting older at the time. She was, I don't know, let's see, 60 something. And her skin was getting real dry on her face. She said, can you make me something for that? I said, well, yeah, I can. So this is where that inspiration came from. It's mommy. So, her hair is a silver white, as white as hair can possibly be. Beautiful. Um, I hope my hair, when it, it's already turning gray, but it's not really gray, it's, it's the same color as my mom's. You see my little streaks right here? That used to be like white blonde. like. What they call it around here. They call them toe head blondes. But if you know that expression, then you'll know what I'm talking about. So, uh, it turned completely white. Which, if I had dark hair, would be really cool. That is where the inspiration of this oops, soap came from. It's mama. You can't tell my mom had a lot of influence in my life. She's a good woman. Wonderful mother, good wife, sweetest person you'll ever meet. And loved everybody and all my friends all called. She was mom to everybody. Um, growing up and otherwise. So now we're gonna put this one up in the bars. Who's here? Kathy and Debbie, welcome. Nana Sweets, welcome. Um, let's see. Kay and Sabrina, welcome everybody. Thanks guys for coming. Let's see. Oh, and I put the my soaps on this live. You can get 20% off of them on the live. Uh, they're six dollars a bar. Most of them. I've got one that's, remember, I, I don't know if you were on here, but if you were, then you heard me say that one of them's smaller than this bar. It's about three and a half ounces. And it's the lavender essential oil. I did not mean to do that when I made that bar to make it that small. I don't know how I managed that, but anyway, I did. So it's like, I think it's 350 for that bar. Um, but everything else is six dollars, so you get twenty percent off that during this live. So that's however that is twenty percent of six dollars. It's a dollar. Wait a minute. Yeah, should be ten sixty. Dollar twenty off. Takes me a minute when I'm in the middle of something like this. I got my brain elsewhere. Um, so that's a good deal. Uh, if you spend $35 in my store here, then you get free, free shipping uh, with Christmas so close. That's a good deal. But 
this, let's see, the silver fox. I've got a lot of soaps to make um, over the next couple of weeks. I've got eight or nine more to make, I think. Different ones. I've got a few new ones that are going to be coming. I got my some new fragrance oils in the mail yesterday. Um, they were supposed to have been here Saturday. Oh, but the post office, they made it to Knoxville, Tennessee. They came out of uh, Maine. And they, uh, whoops. Yeah, good. They uh, made it to Knoxville, Tennessee on the tracking. And then they just kind of disappeared from the third till day before yesterday. What's today? Today's the 10th. So from the third to the ninth for six days, they disappeared. So when I went to the post office to send some orders out, I talked to the guy. They know me down there. Huh? I'm in there every day. I'm in there sending packages off. So they know who I'm going through the door. And I uh, uh, got them to look into it. Showed up yesterday. Yay! Um, I don't know if anybody in here is a soap maker, but I have been getting probably 85 to probably 85% of my fragrance tools from the same place for years and years and years and years. Many years. A lady named uh, oh crap, her name just flew out of my head. Oh, I can't think of it. I'll think of it when I'm not thinking of it. We used to own it. We used to talk all the time. Matter of fact, I, her new uh, fragrances that she want to try, she'd send samples to me and I'd make soap with them to test them out in the soap because not every fragrance is good for soap. There's many different things that can happen that you don't want to happen. Least of all, discoloration. Um, which if you know it's coming, you can plan for. If you don't know it's coming, you're in trouble. Um, but that's the least of the things that can happen. So I trust them. But anyway, she retired and sold her company out to a lady named Amy. But she has a Facebook page. She has I don't know if she has a TikTok page or not. I'll have to look. But, um, really super nice. Very, very helpful. But it's called Molly's Soaping Sense. I think it's called Molly's Soaping Sense. I'll have to look on the bottom for her. Uh, Tamara, that was the lady's name that used to own it. Tamara Jenkins. But, uh, she lived in Louisiana, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, um, wonderful fragrance tools hold up wonderfully in soap make candles with them they're really good you'll know if there's anything that's going to happen with them you're going to know if it discolors you're going to know if it's possible with rising and what levels and percentages to use in them and these are not weak fragrance oils most of them are very very strong which means you don't have to use as much. Which means they last longer. Love them. Love them. All of the ones I've had are absolutely wonderful. But check her out. If you make soap, candles, anything like that, Molly's Soaping Scents, S-C-E-N-T-S. -E I'll double check that. I'll go get a bottle and you can see it. So I get most of my fragrances, fragrances from her. So we were out, I messaged her the other day and I've still not gotten that package. I said I could tell her, you know, what was going on and let me know and if I can do anything to help and just super nice, super helpful. Wonderful fragrance oils. You can't beat it. You really can't beat it. Let's see who's in here. Let's 
see. Hello, Diana. Uh, beaches are great, Kay. I agree 100%. And Larry, welcome. Valerie just joined. Welcome. Um, I've got my soaps on this live. You can get 20% off of them today. They're in the live. Uh, go over and follow my page, please. I would really, really appreciate it. Very helpful in more ways than I can say. This is soap is called Silver Fox. It's in my store right now. This is just adding to the stock that I already have. It's kind of low. I don't have a lot of them, which is why I'm making them. Because it takes a few weeks for these to get ready to go. They have to cure out. The lemongrass I am actually out of in the shop. They go rather fast. They are absolutely amazing. All my soaps have goat's milk in them that I milk from our goats. I don't use goat's milk powder. Not knocking anybody that does, but not everybody can have a farm. But I will tell you this. Actual goat's milk is better than goat's milk powder. There's something lost in the intro. I don't know why, but when I first started out, that's how I got started making soaps. Um, because I bought some goats and didn't know what to do with the soap, or didn't know what to do with the milk. And uh, this is this and lotion and body butter and oh, what else do I make with goat's milk? I always draw a blank. I get nervous and draw a blank. I can't think of things. But anything that says goat milk in my shop is made with our goat's milk soap. Or goat milk soap. Um, goat milk. Let's see. Uh, broken heart. I hope not. Welcome. Cadence. Welcome. Wow, Malcolm. Welcome. Hi, African black soap. All organic. Yes, all organic. I don't. Uh, I won't say that about all my soaps, um, but these, this soap here, yes, all organic, all natural, no chemicals, no preservatives, no anything like that. It's completely natural. The black coloring comes from the activated charcoal, which is what uh, detoxes your skin. It pulls impurities out of your skin. Um, free radicals and whatnot. Uh, that's why it's black. Sorry if I didn't get to your question very quickly because my computer's over there where I can see and I go back and forth. So I apologize if it take, takes me a, a minute to get over there. These soaps um, are around five ounces. They're going to vary. Very few ever go under five ounces, but most of the time they're more than five ounces. Um, but on average, five ounces. They are three inches tall, three inches wide, and one inch thick. They work really well in the shower. Um, if you get much bigger than that, then it's hard to get the lather. It's not hard to get the lather going. It's just awkward in your hand, I guess is the better word for it. So, that's why they're the size that they are. I have made one that they're taller, but like I said, they're a little awkward. Let's see. Yeah. But everybody, please go over and follow my page. Um, like I said, you can order during this live and get 20% off your order on the goat milk soaps. Oh, I'm not going to lie and say this is heavy because it really is heavy. This 
one coming here is the new soap. And you can see, I have popped the tops like you did. Ow, oh, hope myself. We're good. I'll show you the top. I don't know if I can do this without. Here, let me take the phone out and I'll show you the tops. And I'm not quite done with it yet. But you can see that the tops are popped. You can't, there's a little bit of um, body glitter on it. If you get really close, yeah, there you go. Now you can see it. Just a little bit because this is, um, the name of it is a winter candy apple. I love this fragrance. Absolutely love this fragrance. But you can see it's a little taller on one side than it is on the other. You can't see the inside right now. It just looks uh, a pinky color there. It's it really and that is what these are for. These are little apples. And I pop the little leaves on. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Get the camera back in the, the holder thing. Sorry if you're looking at the floor. <laughs> I'm probably looking at my hand right now. I was trying to make it a little closer. I can't get it to get closer, but that's okay. But this one will be ready. Let's see. Which soaps are organic? That candy apple looks amazing. Thank you, Candace. I appreciate that. Uh, the soaps that are, are, are organic, I've got a tea tree uh, soap, a lemongrass soap, lavender soap, the uh, silver fox soap, and the birch cedar wood, which is done out of essential oils. Um, I'm going to be adding some more natural um, organic soaps probably in the spring because Christmas is crazy and it's too close to Christmas to be adding a line of soap when I have so many to already make. Um, it's not a wise decision to do that, but I do have plans because I have to gather the herbs and then I have to um, infuse them into the oils, which is the same way I do my jewelry soap or the poison ivy soap, which is another one that's organic, that's completely natural, is the uh, poison ivy soap. Um, it says it's for poison ivy, but um, I have had people get it that have just itchy skin. And um, it is amazing for if for whatever reason you're itchy. My dad gets itchy sometimes. Um, he had chemo. And uh, his skin, for some unknown reason, just itches him sometimes. And he said he can lather that up and the itching goes away. I did not know that. Or my hands are sweaty in my gloves and I poked a hole in my gloves so I took it off. Um, but it is wonderful. <laughs> Poison ivy. Um, Anybody that's ever gotten it for poison ivy, uh, sumac, poison oak, always come back for more. It works. Um, if you get on my website, crazygoatladysoaps.com, you can go to the reviews on there um, and read them for yourself. You don't have to take my word for it. Get on my Facebook page, scroll down to the post, or search poison ivy. You will see pictures that people have sent me and them commenting on it. Um, of how well it works. Jewelweed is uh, God's remedy for poison ivy, poison oak, and sumac. It always grows close to them. Um, I've actually got a video on here where it, when I went out and got it. Uh, you can't find it now because the, um, not here in Kentucky, the flowers are gone off of them and so it's really hard to determine what's just a weed and what it is without the flower on it, but you can go on there, or sorry, go on here and you'll see what it looks like 
But back to the original um, topic, um, in the spring, uh, there'll be some, some new soaps, some new organic soaps, Candace. Let's see. Uh, my mom had a terrible itch. It was kidney failure. No doctor ever knew. A scientist told me after. <laughs> Who's this? Um, take me to the play. My mother had kidney failure. <laughs> she was on dialysis for almost six years. Um, she passed away, I believe, by dementia, which has nothing to do with her kidneys. As far as that was concerned, she was doing wonderful. She was on home dialysis. Her skin was itchy. Uh, my mom was also a diabetic. Um, and it drove her, that itching drove her crazy for a long, not literally crazy, but you know what I mean. For many years until we found out what it was. And it had to do with her kidney failure, um, her phosphorus, when it would get high, uh, it would cause her to itch. The jewelry soap, I'm not going to lie to you and say that it done away with all of it because there was underlying conditions, medical conditions that caused it to get worse at times than others, but it helped. It gave her some ease and relief. Um, and then we come to find out she had severe neuropathy on top of that, which has nothing to do with your skin. It has to do with the, the uh, nerves that are connected to your skin. Um, but when it was um, from the phosphorus or phosphorus getting too high, or her skin would, you know, her skin would get itchy because that the jewelry soap did help. Um, but I will not lie to you and tell you, oh, it was wonderful. She didn't itch no more. She did, but it wasn't near as bad. Um, but her reasons for it itching, um, if you've never known anybody with kidney failure, it's um, it's a it's a bad disease. Um, Mom done really good on her home dialysis. And, uh, but, uh, I, but I won't lie to you. I'm never gonna lie to you. I'll never tell you one thing that it works when it doesn't. But it did help. So, new soap. Um, winter candy apple. And if you've heard of it before, you know where you heard of it from. Um, but I'm not quite done with this soap. I couldn't put the apples on it until I got it cut because this mold, and my husband's come up to a remedy, or with a remedy for that. If I put the apples where it's being cut, not good, don't want the apples cut. I want each soap to have an apple on top. So in order to do that, um, we've got to do a little bit of adjustment to my mold so I know where the inch mark is. And where each individual soap is, or each individual, it, ooh, can't talk, sorry. Each individual loaf is. And I measured them out for the loaf, so that's not so hard. But seeing where each individual soap is, much more difficult when you're dealing with 20 bars this way. It, it makes it much more difficult. Um, so I'm doing this one a little bit different normally. I would already have the decorations on top and hopefully the next one I make will be so uh, but this in particular one I'm gonna do it afterwards let me get this liner off the inside of this uh oh my liner's starting to break I'm gonna have to get a new one um, the inside of this one is it's a, a white swirl inside of this particular one which is, I love swirls. It's pretty. And I wish that I could, ouch, I wish that I could stick this up here and you all could smell it because it's amazing. I absolutely love this fragrance. The soaps won't be ready for a couple of weeks because I have to put them in my drying room. Normally soaps have to dry for four to six weeks, but I've got a drying room with dehumidifiers that dry them a lot quicker. So we're going to split this one up. Oh good, I was hoping this one wouldn't be too tall. <laughs> I was really worried about that yesterday. I was a little stressed over it. But we're going to cut this one up into loaves and then we're going to cut it up into bars. 
and then we're gonna decorate it. Let's see, finally someone who understands. Take me to the play, I so do. Um, I really do understand. I miss my mama something fierce. I put everything in my life on hold to help take care of her. My sister and I and my dad, um, dad done what he could. But uh, my sister does not live here. Um, I live and did and bought this place and moved here to help take care of my mother, which is right across the street. And um, my dad says, that is the whole purpose of us being here. Um, because, you know, you get a call at two o'clock in the morning and mom's got out of bed to go to the bathroom and she's falling. It, it's just easier, less stressful, and less likely for an accident to happen because we're driving 500 miles an hour to get over here. Um, this must not come off. Um, so we bought the place and remodeled the place across the street from mom and dad because we knew she was going to get sicker and uh, to take care of her. Hence the reason why a lot of my social media don't have many followers because I was taking care of mom. I didn't have time for that. But my sister didn't live here, but she, um, she moved about two hours away from here. It's called Whitesburg. It's up in eastern Kentucky when she got married. But she came down on Sunday evening and stayed till Friday afternoon and then went back home to stay there during the day and help with mom because, like I said, she had Lewy body dementia, which we didn't find out till this past December last year. And she passed away February the 17th. And uh, we didn't know what was wrong, why she was starting to where she couldn't walk, those kind of things. So it took two of us, sometimes three. She couldn't get in and out of the shower on her own. And at the end, she couldn't walk at all. Um, so I put everything on hold and took care of my mother, which I'll never regret, ever. All right, so now we're gonna cut these into bars. You can see, you can see. See, each one's gonna have the little lip lifted side. You can see this way. Again, I've got all my soaps. Um, I don't know if you taught tagged or what you call it with this live, and you can get 20% off on this live. They are six dollars a bar. Oh, gosh, it smells so good. Oh, I love it. Uh, you can. I don't think I have the lotion on there for this one yet, um, but. Um, look back and I'll have the lotion ready before the soap. This soap will be ready in two weeks. Let me check over here before I get started on this again. See Lori, welcome. Denise, uh, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Alright, now we're going to cut this one. Oh, let me get my other tray. Hang on just a second.
swirl on the inside. Pretty, pretty. Now, each arc is going to look different. Some may be similar. Some may have more swirls than others. That's not something that you can control. I didn't want a lot of white in this one because the top is white. Just a little swirl. But these will be um, 650 for these soaps. Just a little bit more expensive. They take more time to do. And honestly, they take more skill to do. This is not, these tops are not something you just jump right in there and say, hey, I'm going to make a top. Pop the top on it. You won't do it right the first time, most, most of the time. I've made, I have to show you all sometime. I've still got a few left. And I may make, make some um, when I get caught up on everything. Cupcakes. They're so cool. But they're soap. But they look like a cupcake. You, tie, you pack them on like these tops are popped. Just like a cupcake. A fancy cupcake. <laughs> but a cupcake all the same. They're really cool. Let's see, you can see this one. It's got a little bit more white, a little more swirl. Um, but we're going to put the apples up here. After I cut them. But this one smells... Oh. You can smell the apple. But it's like a really rich apple. Not a heavy fragrance. Not something that uh, you're going to cough people to death when they smell it um, at all. It is absolutely uh, fantastical. I love this. I made this a few years ago. And my sister, she's like, are you going to make that again? Please make that again. It smells so good. I loved it. So, which I had planned on anyway, because it is so good. And people love it. Um, I was like, yeah, I'm going to make it again. So I just got the fragrance in the other day. each one even these are bars are side by side they look similar the swirls do let me turn this over because it goes this way but they're not quite the same and they're side by side you can never get one exactly like the other let me show you something cool when you put these together look at this isn't that pretty oh, i hope you can see it it's so pretty. I think it's so cool. It's like one of those moths is what it kind of looks like. Can you see it? Yeah. Here's the legs here. It's head. It's wings. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I always, I always get excited about cutting soaps because you never know what the insides are going to look like. It's always, and they're all different in some way, shape, or form. They're never all going to be the same. Let's see. Well, let me go up here. Take you all in here now. Oh, Sandy, welcome. Mackenzie, Diana, Vanessa, welcome, guys. Welcome. When I get these cut, I know it's it's kind of a slow process getting because I make so many at one time. Process getting cut, but you'll get to see the final um, picture here shortly. Y'all have any questions? Please, please feel free to ask. I 
This one's still a little, the other ones are firmer than this one, but that's because of the recipe. I have to keep this particular style liquid longer than I do the others because they're one solid color and this one is not. So you don't want it thickening it up real quick on you like some recipes can do. So there it's a little more sticky than uh, the other two. But they won't be when you get them, of course. That's just a little extra water. Not water, goodness gracious, liquid. A little extra goat's milk. So if you've ever, you know anything about milk in general, you've got cream and then you've got whey. So the whey is what, the liquid part of it is what, um, what uh, dries. It takes away the sticky. Technically, this will be soap. About two more, completely soap. Um, the chemical process uh, to make soap from fats, oils, and lye mixture, um, which is another reason why I'm making or uh, wearing gloves, uh, only takes three to four days. After that, you have soap, but it is soft. Feel pretty? Pretty pretty. It's soft. Which I call sticky. And as it dries, it becomes harder. Now if you get a softer soap, then you are going to have a bar of soap that melts quickly in water. Um, so when you put it in your wash rag or you use your scrubby and you put the soap on there, it's going to not last as long. So if you've ever bought soap, homemade soap or handmade soap or lye soap or whatever you want to call it, and it doesn't last very long, that's why. It's not set and it's not dried. Not completely. Soap, when after it's made cut, as long as it's gotten, it gets air, lasts. It may shrink and crack because it's so dry, but that takes a very long time. I'm talking years and years and years that happen, but it's always going to be soap. Always. I've had my mother, I should say not me, but my mom, she would get some of my pretty soaps, I call them, and she'd put them on a little cute little saucer, tea saucer. And set it on the back of her, <coughs> excuse me, toilet. <coughs> Unwrapped, of course. Because you could smell them. And them just sitting there. So she would use it kind of like a air freshener, I guess you'd say. But they would sit there for years. And then she'd switch it out for something else. Or she'd add to it. Whatever but the soap doesn't go bad. Even go to soap. So like I said, this one here, I want to do a little something different, I think, with my, these pieces. I asked um, a bunch of people, I, I did a poll on Facebook, and said, would you rather have these cut up into pieces and sample soaps? Or would you like to put like, I only have three here, so. Or do like four of these soaps like this, cause they're, they're nice, you can use them in the shower. They're big enough to use them in the shower. Or do something like this, like with four soaps and, and uh, have four different fragrances instead of buying one bar of soap. So if you didn't know what it smelled like or you just wanted to try it or that kind of thing. I've got some here. Some people do them this way. But when I use these big molds, I can't, I don't have these. I've got these. And wrap them and sell them that way. So 
So I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. What do you guys think? Um, let's see. What does pink skies smell like? Oh, pink skies. Early on, I used to call that soap heavenly because it really smells, to me, it's, it smells heavenly. Um, I changed the name to Pink Skies, I don't know, several years back. But it is a, it's a light fragrance. It's not heavy. Um, it's a, kind of a watermelony, strawberry. It's not fruity, but that's what it reminds you of. But it's not, it's not a super fruity fragrance. It's absolutely, I love it. I sell a lot of it. I sell a lot of things. Little, little, little. Can't talk pink sky. Um, but it is really, but it's a, if I could have to describe it, it's kind of a watermelon -y, strawberry phantasm. Oh, this is wonderful. I sell, I sell a lot of pink skies. I sell a lot of pink chiffon. Uh, what's the soap called that you are cutting? This one is Winter Candy Apple. This soap here is. Sorry if it takes me a minute to get to the questions. I have to walk over to where my computer is because I don't have room for it to hear just to glance over to it. But this one's called Winter Candy Apple. It is not on, it's not for sale yet. Um, because it's not ready to sell yet. I can't cut this and sell it. I mean, technically I could cut this and sell it. I won't cut this and sell it because I think of my customers more than that. You wouldn't like it because it wouldn't last long. It smells wonderful. It's going to suds up. It's going to wash your body, but it's not going to last any time at all. Not any time at all. And I wouldn't like it, so I'm not doing that to someone else. Let me move this. Take these off. Ooh, my hands are sweaty. Let's see. We're going to do a little adjustment here. And this is the first time I have put soap on, or embeds on the top of soap after I've made it and cut it. So, we'll see how this works out. I may have to, I've got a few different ways we're going to do there. If one, one way doesn't work, then if they don't stick, I've got a few ideas for some other ways to have this work or fix this. So, now I can be in my computer. If you have any questions, I'll be able to see them quicker. Bought this, I got a new computer and it's not touch screen. Hello. Welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So like I said, the soap is still a little... Um, let me move my camera so if it jerks, you'll know why that's jerking. Um, it's still a little soft. So I'm hoping that... I just can kind of smush these on there. See the little apples? You see the little apples? But they're little, little baby apples. It's the name Winter Candy Apple. And then I piped, see the leaf? I piped those on there. So we're gonna see if this is gonna work. I'm hoping, I'm thinking that it will because this soap is still Finally soft, yeah, it's gonna work. It's not super soft, but it's soft enough where I get these apples on there. Let's see the little apples. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, that's super cute. Super cute. Let me get the gloves. I 
Hey, sweet pea. Hey, uh, sweet pea. I'm going to be making some sweet pea. So, this spring, I've got some uh, ideas for it. Marie, welcome. Guys, go over and follow my page. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, I have got some soaps um, in this live that um, I think there's 20 or so of them on there that you can get 20% off on this this live. And I try to do little things like that from time to time. Not long back, I think I did a 10% off that people got in their message box. Um, different things. If you don't feel comfortable ordering off a of TikTok, I get it and that's totally fine. I have a website, Crazy Goat Lady Soaps, plural soaps with an S dot com. Welcome to all um, order off there. Um, I have a Facebook page. I have a all of my page names are all whoop, dropped an apple. All of my page names you can find all the same. It is a little at symbol. Crazy Goat Lady Soap, singular, soap, on all my pages. I have a YouTube page. Um, I have an Instagram page. And I have a Facebook page and then TikTok. And that's it. Well, actually, I have a uh, Pinterest, but I don't really do anything on there. It's just mainly just my stuff that I like to look at. <laughs> Let's see. Welcome. Welcome, Rita. Welcome, Shannon. Welcome, guys. If you have any questions. Oh, thank you. It says that's so, that's adorable. Thank you. Um, it should, the 20% off should come off. If it doesn't, let just let me know. I can't, I don't know if I can fix it on here or not. I can try. Um, it should automatically generate on your order if you go there um, from this oops from this uh, what do you call it a uh, live put, it should come off automatically I'm hoping it does it should but if it doesn't just let me know and uh, I'll get you a code This is definitely not my favorite way to do this. This is the first time I've done it this way. Um, it works, but it's a little more difficult to do this way. Just because I'm trying not to break these leaves off the top like I just did one of the other ones. See the little leaf? I, I put too much pressure on it and broke it off. Um, let's see. But this one's called Winter Candy Apple. Smells fantastic. Gosh, I love this soap. Um, when I used to make all of my soaps that were decorated, <laughs> I did a lot of festivals back then. And people would say, oh, it's just too pretty to use. I'd say, oh, honey, don't worry about that. I can make more. Use it. I used to do all that stuff when I was younger. I got in all kinds of art guilds and all that stuff um, with my soaps. I got in one of the biggest art guilds I got in. I guess the most, I don't want to say famous, but the one that people, that people in general, especially people that are into things like that, that people know is Berea, Kentucky, which is really famous for their artists. I got into their art guild. Um, it's called Artisans and Craftsmen's Guild or something like that, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But I was in that for, see, this is why I don't like doing this. I'm gonna have to, my little 
leaves are coming off some of them where I'm touching, where I'm putting too much pressure on that area. Uh, but they're sticking, so I guess that's what matters. Let's see. Uh, the free shipping comes up, but no 20% off. Is there one or the other? Hang on. Let me look into this real quick. Just give me a second and I will pull it up. I have to do this a little bit different, so be patient with me. And I'll get that for you. I was hoping that it would do it on its own, but it's not looking like it will. Do 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 Well, see, they're all selected. I don't know why it's. Oh, okay. It's a different way so it doesn't take as long. Give me a second. Keep thinking about it. This is good through this live. I hope this works. Right, Tom. I'm gonna let this go till two o'clock. And I'll let it go to two thirty. Almost done, guys. It makes the soaps four dollars and eighty cents. Well, my math was right. But this is on any of the goat milk soaps, any of my soaps, until two thirty. 
be patient. I'm almost done. I thought it was going to generate its own automatically through the live. I think it's supposed to, but for some reason I must have not done something right. So I'm kind of doing this manually. So it's going to take just a second. Sometimes these things can be fickled. 2.02. We're going to make this from 2.02 to 2.30. Alright, now it's saving it. So give me a minute. Let it get up there. Alright. Now, this should work. It should automatically take this off. Take me to the play. Um, it should start at 2.02 and it is 2.01 right now. So that should start working. And that'll be 20% off the goat milk soaps for the next 30 minutes in this live. Um, any of my goat milk soaps that are on there. All right, gotta get my, my glove back on. So if y'all have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Um, I don't mind answering them. Does anybody have goats or live on a farm? Have you ever used goat's milk soap before? Yeah, I'm not liking putting this on here like this at all. It is a pain in the tush. It is being a pain. I think I'm going to set them down here now. I think it might be a little easier on the lower side instead of the higher side. That was not the plan when I planned this out, but you know, it is what it is. It makes it a little easier. But this particular soap will be ready in about two weeks from today. Um, if you want to place the order on my website, you're welcome to. It's crazygoatladysoaps.com. Um, we have, um, or I have a YouTube channel, um, Crazy Goat Lady Soap Company. Um, you'll recognize it when you get there. I try to keep everything pretty consistent throughout the different platforms. Um, so you recognize it when you see it and you don't get maybe mixed up with someone else. I've had this business since 2009, right? 2009, yeah? Long time I've been doing this. Yeah, this is much easier than on the top sides. Let's see. Let me grab one I'll show you. This one here works. Let's see. The little soaps. The little apples. Cute, cute, cute. Thank you for following me. I just got a notification. I didn't grab the name real that that quickly. Thank you so much. Um, Rita, thanks for joining. Guys, if you don't care, go over and follow my page. I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to get up to a thousand so I can get into the creator thing, which um, helps with, you know how these platforms are. It's like any other. It works on an algorithm and um, if certain things happen, then you get more exposure. This happens to be one of them. Um, 
one of the things. <laughs> so uh, if you don't care, really, honestly, please go over there and follow my page. I would greatly appreciate it very much. I really do. Um, there's 20% off during this live. It should come off on all the soaps, just the soaps, um, during this live. Um, I send out orders every day. So you, the process processing time is 24 hours most of the time. Um, I ship everything out normally. I mean, today it's going to be a little later than for yesterday's orders. Um, just because I'm doing this right here this morning. Um, so, but I always get it out the next day. Almost always. Unless something comes up, something happens that's unavoidable. Some kind of emergency. You know, life is not a box of chocolates. So, so, you know, stuff happens. But most of the time, I get it out the next day. Um, I don't like to wait on things. I get excited to get new things. So, I assume everybody else does. And um, you don't want to wait a week for it to even get in the mail. It comes from my local post office. So, it comes out of Kentucky. So, if you live in California... Um, it can take three or four days to get there. Um, if you live in Kentucky, depending on which part, um, sometimes it can get there the next day. Sometimes it takes two days. So, and about 80% of the time I ship through the post office. Um, sometimes it depends on where it's going to, like if it's going to like Iowa or Arizona specifically for sure, but Iowa and Arizona, it is cheaper for you if you're paying shipping, cheaper for me if I'm paying shipping, if I ship it through UPS. So sometimes it goes through UPS. Oops, not the leaf, the leaf come off, but I figured out how to get them back on, so that works. If you're ordering, going to be ordering for Christmas, get them in as quickly as possible, please. Mm -hmm. um, just because of shipping. Don't wait till the week before, please. <laughs> I'll do my best, but uh, I don't guarantee anything like that because Christmas is really busy. I've almost got all the apples on, but these turn out super cute. I love these apples. They turned out really, really cute. They really did. Got two more left. Don't forget, 20% off until one third, or sorry, 2.30 of the soaps. I have lotions on there. We make uh, candles that the wax is a mixture of... I dropped one of my soaps. So hang on. Let's see. Where the heck did it? Here it is. It went plumb to the living room. Um, it is a mixture of coconut wax, soy wax, and beeswax, which makes it last. The burn time on them is, is really good. It makes them last. They don't burn up real quick. You don't have all the soot like you do from just 100% soy or paraben um, waxes, mostly. Uh, a lot of your more inexpensive candles are made out of paraben, but it's, if you ever notice it, it smokes a lot and there's a lot of soot. Um, welcome Diana. Uh, crazy my lady. I like the name. Nice to meet you. Uh, So, you get 20% off my soaps from now till 2.30, or it started at 2.02, so a few minutes ago. Um, you get 20% off my soaps 